yeah, like imagine inviting this collection into your home. This would go perfect with your IKEA Allen key furniture setup, wouldn't it? Anyway, vintage. I don't even know what you want to call this. AM, FM, radio, record player, gramophone, Jason JJ Cruzophone turntable. Isn't this, uh, isn't this different? And you know, both of these, well, both of these, the radio there and the record player have uh, receptacles for screw on legs. Anyway, this, this stuff is in the uh, Sam's Photo Facts 600 series, so I'm going to say early 60s. I don't know. I would have to dig that up. Packard Bell, made right here in Los Angeles. We just want to try and make this stuff work. Unfortunately, this is not one of those where you can have AM and FM on at the same time. Multiplex monitor. That's interesting. Does this actually have stereo multiplex in it? We'll have to see. But rolling doors. Like I said, it's a, a very odd... You know, General Electric made a bunch of radios kind of in this shape, in this form. I don't know what you'd call this, a mantle top or... I don't know what you'd call this. Uh, plenty of dust in there. We'll... we'll we're going to just try and make these work, and I believe these, I hate it when people point at things in videos, and here I am doing it, those plug into right there, the external speakers. So we got the whole kit here, and this is a um, model RC-1S. And here's the, uh, doesn't feel like there's anything there. Oh, yeah. Crusty. Oh, boy, that's almost painful. There might be something on the 78 side. Oh, jeez. Should not have done that. Oops. Um, this, this rubber is as hard as, as uh, glass. It's all cracked. That's Domino. When my dream po when my dream boat comes home. Fifty one dollars and seventy six cents. Wait, here's the whole package. Stand by. So is this the prices? AM FM Stereo Radio RC1S. 
two nine inch oval hi-fi speaker, powerful 20 watt stereo amplifier, automatic frequency control, multiplex monitor. Doesn't say multiplex decoder. I wonder stereo record player extension speaker. So this is the whole package right here. Interesting. Operating instructions. Plug the AC cord into 110 to 120 60 cycle source. Turn the power on by pulling out the treble control knob. Radio operation, FM stereo multiplex. Follow the procedure in the preceding paragraphs for tuning in an FM station. Then push the stereo switch in to the stereo position. FM multiplex monitor will indicate the presence of an FM stereo program. So does it, is it actually stereo? I peeked in the back and I didn't see, didn't seem like it had enough tubes in it to be. So yeah, is, is this the prices? $50.75 for the stereo, $51.26 for the, uh, for the gramophone here. I got to be honest, I just don't have the passion that some do for old record players like this. I just don't. And you're not going to force me to love something that I just don't. I love records. I love my 1200s, but man, this old stuff just doesn't doesn't do it for me. But this here this kind of gets me a little bit excited. Usually Packard Bell stuff was pretty good. A lot of disc capacitors, uh, not a lot of paper stuff to short and leak. Uh, let's see, I gotta lay down here on the ground, pull on. Now the guy that found these told me they were just dead. They didn't do anything. And I kind of find that hard to believe. You know, I try and weekly alternate between TVs and radios, you know, TV video one weekend, radio video or something, you know, transistor radio, tube radio, something like this the other weekend. So I try and alternate to satisfy those that are into either TVs or radios. Um, and after working on TVs, Working on something like this is actually like so boring. You know, maybe I don't think it needs a turntable plugged into it. After working on TVs, something like this is so simple to diagnose for me that it's like do it with my eyes closed kind of thing. Wait, maybe if we take it off a of phone out. Life like the DEA take back.com. That's dependable traffic. I'm Jim Roop on AMC. Nachos, it goes everywhere. I mean, that was the most heavily cheesed order of nachos. Thursday morning, April 15th, uh, the Chauvin trial continues, and this is getting crazy, and we'll talk about that over the next day or two. Uh, also, everybody in California, 16 and older, can now book uh, the uh, vaccine appointment. Just go to the state. I, I would think that this should be a lot louder. Rod uh, Pyle, pilebooks.com, that's P-Y-L-E, books.com. Uh, Rod, uh, when we were kids, the comic books, I used to read them all the time, and they talked about atomic rocket, rockets. Uh, I'm on the insurance company's going to try to do to you. And program Club Serrano and unlock special discounts, promotions, and so much more.
able to pull. Starting stronger starts at AutoZone. They've got batteries. Free best test. Amazing country. Did you bring more? <laughs> no. <laughs> An anonymous called in to confess this mess. It's early in the morning, so all we're gonna get is a stupid low IQ drive to work dumb Jerry Springer audience morning shows. More bars. Just but give you a little morning, example. We kept on drinking and talking. One thing led to another, and, you know, we ended up in a hotel room together, and I, I hooked up with my best friend's boyfriend, and I just, I, I need to get this off my chest. I had to confess this, and Nick, I, I, I don't know if you can, you know... Got that nice beat behind it there. Listen to the beat. I, I just feel terrible. Are you going to tell your best friend? Is it is it my place to tell? Is it his place? You, to you tell? just told all of us. Yeah, yeah, it is your place to tell. First of all, you went to a place. Be, 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 now you might be right though. It probably sh the the all boyfriend right. of the best friend. It might be that person. Okay, I'm done. So here are the guts. Is this thing stereo or is it not stereo? Does it have? It might because I believe that coil right there. Boy, this thing is baked. Everything you touch just... And yeah, 20 watts per channel might be a little bit of a stretch for a... Uh, what are those, six BQ5s? 6GW6. EL, ECL86. I think that might be a stretch for 20 watts. And that little tiny audio output transformer, that's, you know, nothing. But yeah, it might be stereo. Yeah, my antenna's broken off because the plastic holders are all hard. I actually have those. So this does have a built-in FM antenna here. Dipole. This thing needs a little bit of uh, compressed air, I think. And the uh, stereo indicator looks like a neon bulb. Yeah, it must be stereo. Interesting. <laughs> My first impression here is this thing is fairly cool. And I, my first impression is that there's a lack of gain somewhere. It's too quiet. I mean, this thing with that antenna in the Los Angeles area 50 kilowatt radio station all over the place, this thing should like push me back. Uh, I mean, it's it's no 20 watts per channel, but it's probably four or five. And with these speakers, I shouldn't be able to sit right in front of this thing. Um, like that. I mean, I can easily talk over this. It's quiet. Virus. Well, some good news in Sherman Oaks. They've wrapped up with that. Like we needed that. It's 8.34 today, by the way. So maybe we have like low B plus because we never get a multiplex light either. So maybe the selenium rectifier is weak. I'm going to assume this has a selenium rectifier in it. So we have low B plus. I wonder how we get this thing apart. We could also have a weak tube or more likely than all of those. Quite possibly a silver mica slash alignment issue with the IF cans. 
these are those I just don't trust these IF cans I hooked up one of the external speakers in order for the stereo multiplex to ever come in the the front end alignment has got to be good and the signals have got to be strong it just you'll never see stereo unless the IF and front end are working right okay I guess so pretty weak though um, I mean and the front end seems like it's working good I mean it's getting let's see if it'll get K Jazz or uh, channel 6 TV So it gets K-Jazz very well. But you know, it's wide open. They're saying these steps make at Summit a lot less likely. Scott, pleasure talking with you as always, thanks. Thank you. That's NPR White House correspondent, Scott Detrow. So again, it seems like the front end is working right. It's picking up all the stations, even the weak ones. It's just not loud. So it's going to be something in the IF or low B plus, um, something like that, even AM. You have that factor, that precedent, which I think matters a lot. The other precedent is the one that you already alluded to, games played. No one's won it with less than 70%. And AM is quite a bit louder, but it still doesn't run up into clipping or distortion. So let's try KNX. Yeah, I'm spending a lot of time. I'm a lot of spending a lot of time on the initial analysis, but that's what you have to do to get it right. Centers and the Pentagon, and of course the plane that crashed in Pennsylvania. CBS News military analyst retired Army Colonel Jeff Gosling says the president included a key if. If our forces or allied forces were attacked during the withdrawal, the United States and its allies would use all military tools at their disposal to defend our forces. And this will be a dicey four and a half months to say the least until that mission is accomplished now the nato chief is so you can see knx being a really strong station is really loud that suggests even more with the fm that it's an alignment issue or a dead tube they listen to my questions they answered my question they offer state-of-the-art minimally invasive varicose vein solution okay i got my varicose veins plugged in there let's see how they cannot heal on their own believe me i've tried all the home remedies put that there we'll crank this up sounds like we got some hum there let's see what happens oh Well, that sounds happy. That's quite appealing. Let's see, 33, manual, auto, 33, should I get a 78? Let me dig up a 78. So let's see, RPM calculator, let's try this out. 78. So this is a little bit better of an idea, I think. So it's a little bit slow. But you know, I mean, what could you expect? I guess we could try going to, see, let's try 45. Keep in mind, it has not been cleaned and lubricated. So it's a few RPMs slow. Let's try, this does 33 and 16. Let's try 16. I don't hear any, I don't hear the wheel going dick, 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 so we're good. 
Well, I don't know what that is, but it just looks like it stays right on 33 there. So, take this off. Let's take this off. Then what do we have here? We have all get along somehow with a chunk missing out of it. Let's see what's on this side. Walking the floor over you. You know, I think I've used this before. I'm gonna go get something different. You know, this will probably be on the copyright tip. See what happens here. Ooh! I could have married in a scene or close to scene or name. And I could have married Sally Moon or let's see what's her name. Clean, distortion free sound. Man, the Blamboo Blants be going crazy in the background. I'm gonna get hell for this video. I'm on the 33 side. What's her name? What I thought and thought and thought and Back to the gal, the gal I love in Texas. So it sounds like it has a, um, a tip on the 33. Maybe I should get, let me see, what 33 do I have we could sacrifice? Mariah Carey, Dream Lover, and I think we'll ruin uh, Dream Lover USA Love Dub. Let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Okay, we on 33, boy that sure looks slow. God, that's horrible. Hey, that sounds pretty... That sounds pretty good. And it's loud, too. It's like... And I'm not even all the way open. I'll go all the way open here. Let's see how loud it is. I mean, it's loud. So, I'm, I'm just going to leave this. I, I'm okay with this. I might take it apart towards the end of the video and just put a little oil in some of the key areas maybe the motor and the the idler wheel and uh, but yeah I'm okay with this I'm gonna leave this alone this is actually just a kind of a quick get it working because it's gonna get sold uh, so we want to get it working well but you know not overkill and that, that actually works pretty damn good for what it is. If you were curious to see what the inside of it looked like, you know, Packard Bell really made some neat stuff. A um, little bit like Zenith, a little bit like RCA as far as the chassis go. But our, Z, 
Packard Bell, yeah, I struggled with that, didn't I? Packard Bell really made some nice stuff that's really held up well over the years. They have their problems, but they're usually not basket cases. Good stuff. So I tried to, of course, I tried to gently blow it off and avoid all these stickers and, of course, the air just, you know. So let me try and glue that back on. But, yeah, I, I blew it off. I like to use this stuff to glue things like stickers and that back on on these old radios. I think I got this at Napa. Okay, let's take a look inside this. As you can see, I don't think I see any paper stuff. I don't know if that's a selenium or not. It might not be. It's awful small. That might be a double silicon diode on a center tap transformer. It is all ceramic disc capacitor with the exception of those little white things right there. I don't know if those are paper or not. That down there is probably a little electrolytic. That might be the FM stabilizing capacitor. These are part of the multiplex circuit. These are the 38 and 19 kilohertz transformers. We can align all that stuff with the ST1000. But, like I said, these things were made to last. I mean, the tubular ceramic trimmer capacitors. Packard Bell did have a lot of trouble with resistors going way up in value or open in some of this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to, I think we need to start by pulling the schematic and then checking some basic voltages, supply voltages, and then look at the alignment on the FM. I'm going to bet these um, capacitors in these silver mica disease in these IF cans. Who else here likes to eat flex paste? I'm going through checking the resistors and yeah it's hard to check them without removing them from the circuit but uh, a lot of them none of them are open some of them are a little bit high but that's to be expected this is about the worst I found this 180 here is measuring 212 that's not for tube equipment that's not going to cause it to be hot or cold um, I'm gonna go through and do a little squirt spritzer here since uh, I got it upside down then we'll check the uh, vacuum bulbs make sure they're vacuuming let's try this out wonder if this was a kit somebody built sure is cute Also, I found the SAMs. It's uh, 1964. I'm only really interested in testing the two IF tubes. And there it is. Isn't that a beautiful thing? So yeah, we just want the IF tubes. It's funny that this only has two FM IF tubes. Most of them have three. And... Um, it uses a 6GH8 for the FM oscillator and mixer, and it uses a 6HA5, which I believe is a Zenith uses that. Boy, am I shaky here. So I believe Zenith uses that as a television front-end tube in their uh, TV tuners. Yeah, we just want to check these two right here, 6HR6 and 6HS6. Neither 6HR6 or 6HS6 show up in this tube tester. So let's put this away. I guess it was a neat idea and we'll um, get out something that's okay. D7 or D8.
quality is good. Leakage is horrible. Really? Okay, well this one shows no leakage and decent quality. So, what's up with this one over here and leakage? This one is the HR6. I've never even heard of a 6HR6. It must not be that common. As soon as you plug it in, you got leakage. So, how do we do shorts on this? Uh, how do I do shorts? Here's the shorts light. And riding the short bus today. Actually, it says rotate for shorts and this thing you can see it thing is so leaky it shows shorts it just shows shorts let me try flicking it pop flicking the tube so it shows shorts on one and two see that Got a date code of 63 on it. So interesting, no substitute for 6HR6. Is this some like super high gain tube because this only uses 2IF tubes? And it's got a EIA code of 274, which is RCA. After doing much research, 6HR6 is a very rare tube. There are none listed on eBay. There are people searching for them on Audio Karma. And on Audio Karma, they say 6AU6 is a lower gain version of 6HR6. What's weird is my spreadsheets here. I, I put all my tubes into spreadsheets so I can alphabetize them. Say that I have three six HR sixes but for some reason like an idiot I didn't label what box this list belongs to or what caddy so I can't find it also I noticed that on the tube chart it looked like Somebody scraped out six BA six and used like a stamp to stamp six HR six. So do I try a six BA six or do I try a six AU six? Oh, the options. I found a couple 6AU6s. Um, if the internet says that that's the right replacement, then that's got to be the right replacement, right? Because the internet is always right. So let's see. Watch it not even work. No leakage and no shorts. You know, a lot of times these tubes will leak and be shorted and it won't make any difference in the way the thing works anyway. So that one measures about 75. Let's try this one here. Okay. But what we could do is we'll put it in the radio um, and see, you know, compare them, see which one is louder. This one seems kind of dead.
Usually these small tubes last, oh there we go. Usually these things last forever. And the only time I ever really see these things go bad is when the filaments go open. So yeah, no leakage, no shorts on these. At least it doesn't look like it. So let's try them in real life in the unit. Okay, this is with the original tube test shorted. Boy, that's deaf. That sucker is deaf when you put the uh, low uh, efficiency speaker on it. Okay, this is a 6AU6. Geez, that's even worse. Wow. Alignment must just be way off in this thing. This is the other 6AU6. Okay, I'm going back to the high gain one that tests leaky and shorted. Definitely a tad louder, even though it tests leaky and shorted. I mean, you cannot deny that it's louder with the clinky dinkler tube. Do some voltage checks next. Hey, you can't even hear it over the freaking airplane. Yeah. Yeah, it's no contest. Even though this thing tests bad, it still works better than the 6AU6. So, I guess for all the people searching for this tube, your, your uh, desires are well-founded. It's no contest. Okay, I'm going over the voltages just real quick. And um, the B-plus is about 10 volts low. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, pin 6... Is supposed to be 135. It's measuring 106. That seems a little bit 
low, but let's go back and check this one. Uh, no. Yes. So, um, 210 and 35. Sorry about the green, uh, green tint to the light. The light over my workbench inside is mercury vapor, so the CRI is extremely low. Okay, uh, high side of ungrounded shield over FM converter, low side to ground. Use 60 cycle module. Okay, we're not doing that. We're using high side to FM converter, low side to ground, or FM antenna. So we're just doing 10.7 unmodulated and we're using just the fluke meter. I'm not I'm not going all hardcore on this thing. And we're gonna adjust these for maximum. And the meter's connected from the negative of the stabilizing capacitor to ground okay so we'll do 10.7 megahertz uh, and we'll put a little FM modulation on here I know it says unmodulated but I like to listen to it just for curiosity sake and then that's your ungrounded tube shield right there your so let's start cranking up and see if we so if I go all the way up I get uh, 5 volts So we'll just bring it up here to where we get one volt. And I kind of mark these with red. So I'm just want to get kind of a feel for this and see if in fact the alignment is twacked. So let's see. I'm going to start turning here. I'll start on the top core. Okay, not real far off. Okay, I'm going to the bottom core. Okay, that didn't seem bad at all. So I believe we want to go after the bottom on this one. You know, if I was really into doing this right, I would be doing the AM first. Oh, that one's really sensitive. This sure would be a lot easier with an analog meter. Okay, then this one, I believe it's the bottom. Again, off a microscopic amount, but nothing to write home about. Okay, I'm doing the detector point C to ground a positive or negative reading will result on either side of the correct setting well I've got 2.2 volts there and when I go to 10.8 uh, and down to 10.6 it should be zero right there and it should shift 
So something seems off with that. Uh, we're not getting a positive and a negative. So I'm going to try turning this. Um, okay, there's negative. So that sucker was way off. So see, I can go from negative 3.3 down to zero up to positive two so I'm gonna zero that sucker okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try going from uh, uh, okay that's 10.8 10.7 10.6, that's what we should see. So now the detector is working right. It was way off before, and these are a really touchy adjustment. Not that that's gonna wake it up, but who knows. So now when you tune it, You can go from both positive to negative. So it should be working. So zero would be dead on on a station. Sucker's hard to tune. And that's what AFC should do. It should keep it locked on zero. Let me see if I put AFC on. Yeah, it's pretty good. It zeroed it down. And I guess lastly, just embrace it as a Okay, I'm measuring the voltage across the little neon bulb for stereo. And this is KKLA, the Christian station, and it is not in stereo. It does not have a stereo carrier. I'm not measuring anything there. People that love the Lord, all of a sudden they say... I don't want to hear it. So. But when you recommit, when you. I, I, I guess it is louder now. Uh, I guess that is the 19 kilohertz getting across, developing, but it's too weak. I wonder if I could adjust this. I don't know if I want to adjust this. Let me think about that. Okay, this is a 19 kilohertz. Okay, this is a 67 kilohertz. We don't care about that. Okay, now I'm peaking the one on the back, which I think is 67 kilohertz. I mean, it is off. I just want to see stereo work. Ooh, I think I'm getting success here. Geez, I, I got this thing up so fast, I'm looking at the uh, 19 kilohertz. Okay, I'm using, this is going to be harsh, so I'll try and talk over it. I'm using the ST1000A, and I'm just going to, um, I'm going to take it down as weak as I can, but you can see, I'm in dual scope mode, and I'm going to go from left to right here, we'll see how... So we're going to try and wake this up as best we can. Uh, I'm going to tweak this one.
tweak the one in the back. God, what did I do? I moved the dial. doesn't really seem to do anything it's mostly this one then there's a matrix adjust on the back okay let's see what this does That seemed to make a huge difference. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that looks good. So now we're listening to the side that we're not modulating. You hear that? So we're listening to the, we're listening to, uh, we're modulating right and we're listening to left. You can see that here. So now I'm trying to null it down. Wow. Almost got it a hundred percent. Come on. Boy, that is a touchy adjustment. So the other one you see there is a 38 kilohertz. It's not filtered out. That's the pilot. So as I crank the RF up here, just went into stereo right there. If I turn the pilot off, So if I turn the modulation down, you can actually see the pilot there. So does this allow you to null the 67? I think SCA is 67, right? Huh. Again, learn to use your equipment, dude. I bet, yeah, I think this is... I don't know. right here, not get lost. So don't change the diesel, turn it up a little. I got a living room full of fine dime bristles. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna turn stereo off. You'll see the 67 kilohertz or whatever 38 go away. Watch, I'm gonna turn it off right now. See the difference? That's the pilot running on top of everything. Shouldn't they filter that out? Is that just a function of this thing being cheap that it lets that through? I mean, it's not... Imagine if you had something that reproduced the 38 kilohertz. Imagine your dog with this just this 
high pitch 38 kilohertz whine going through there. We can't hear it and not many speakers will reproduce it, but it's there. And it's wasted energy. I've always said that vacuum tubes don't make real good stable stereo demodulators because they inherently drift and all the carbon resistors and capacitors they just always drift. I mean if I had a if I actually use something like this I would almost want to align it every year. I think that's probably why Zenith who invented the stereo multiplex system that we still use today I think that's probably why they got away from vacuum tubes as quick as they could. They just weren't... The phase, phase thing is too critical on stereo. It's super, super critical. Okay, K-Jazz is weak here and it's still picking up the stereo now and it's loud. Gotta be careful. I'm tired of editing these stupid content ID things out. During a pandemic. Biden has had some, uh, at times, pretty awkward both the surrounding the chilling footage and legal precedent that make it difficult to bring charges against law enforcement. Video of last month's encounter. You know, we need to have a tier system for people who have experience doing these things and then come in and enter this world and broaden the scope of what so notice now it's loud enough it goes into clipping and yes it is stereo I can hear it you know this thing is really cool this would be this would be something awesome to put a little inverter in and some lithium batteries and take it down to the beach and walk down the strand with this on your shoulder I would do it I so it's like an advice for people to it sounds good now and it's loud like it should be the kind of mate I'm contemplating I hope somebody worthy buys this thing because the guy that I'm fixing it for he wants to sell it he thinks it's worth a little bit and this is such a cool little thing. I hope someone buys it. Oh, yeah, you can hear. Oh, yeah, this is recorded in wide stereo. Wow. Tough to know, guys. Yeah, you kind of want to feel like you're, you know, important for a minute, you know? You hear that, guys? So you just got to pay attention for one minute, then you can go back to Tinder. Right, right. Welcome to the all-new 97.1 Now. We are the morning mess. And we kick off your day. God, we... we leave off where we started you can hear me from 10 to 3 and then i toss it over to brew yeah that's me brew like coffee or beer every day three to seven and then it's me yes the ortiz and i'm right here holding it down from seven to midnight la's party station the new 97 one now this report Brock. new party station Ninety-seven one. this was latino so this has changed Oh, Radio Disney is gone. Radio Disney is playing. We have a party station now. Radio Disney, and I don't have an answer for that leaky tube. I, I don't. I'm just leaving it alone. So, anyway. Against the cause of the left and the Democrat Party. That is the base of the corporate media. Simple selection. Reasons behind the sudden spate of mass shootings. I'm Rob Archer with that story. These stories next 15 minutes, 6.15 now, traffic and weather together. Oh boy, never let a good crisis go to waste. And east here in Ontario, right 
I'm Jenny Harmon, 710 ESPN. Let the LAFC. So, yeah, it, it, someone commented, a su subscriber pointed out to me that Radio Disney is now repeating 710 ESPN radio. So, um. The home of LAFC, ESPN LA. Tomorrow, it's the season opener. LAFC, Austin FC. Coverage starts at 2.30 p.m. This is a badass radio. I really hope someone adopts this. And the ESPN. I mean, it sounds great. We're going on. And I said... At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. I love my 